Here's how you know a relationship is a good relationship for you. It makes you feel better about yourself, not worse. It makes you feel more loved. So if you are not getting those things, it's a relationship you can't be in. Here is today's case. Our relationship ended because I got pregnant early. You think she got pregnant on purpose? Yeah, I think she got pregnant on purpose. She wanted to, to basically trap me. I ended up going to the ER. I called him up and he said, oh no, my work is more important. And I was just like, you don't even care about our child. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Faith Jenkins presiding. Your Honor, as you know, for the first time on Divorce Court, we have a virtual audience and it's filled with your super fans. Today's super fan of the day is Andre from Venezuela. Andre, welcome to Divorce Court. We are so happy to have you with us. Your Honor, today's case is Jones versus Brown. Thank you, Juan. Kamala Jones. Yes, Your Honor. You have brought Tony Brown. Yes, Your Honor. To court today. The two of you have been in a relationship for two years. You said he is verbally abusive, has a gambling problem, is a cheater, and doesn't know how to spend his money wisely. And this is the end of the road for you unless you see a change. And sir, you say that Ms. Jones is untrustworthy and won't give you space, and she's the reason why you gamble in the first place. Yes, Your Honor. Okay, I'll start with you, Ms. Jones. Tell me what's happening here. So I'm just tired of Tony. He's a liar, he's a cheater. He's obviously a gambler, and he doesn't treat me right, mm -hmm. and he took $5,000 from me, and I'm just fed up. I'm done. And you're suing for that $5,000 in court today? Yes, Your Honor. How did the two of you meet? So we met back in Hawaii. We hit it off right away, but our, our relationship ended kind of rocky because I got pregnant early. Mm. So I had a complicated pregnancy, I took a trip to Las Vegas with my family. Um, there, I started having complications. I was bleeding. Mm. I was having severe pain. And I ended up going to the ER. Mm. And they pretty much told me that there was nothing they could do mm. for our child. Mm -hmm. I called him up. I asked him, you know, what was going on? I really need you here for support. You know, this is really a tough time for both of us. Mm -hmm. And he pretty much said, oh no, my work is more important and I can't come up because I need this job mm -hmm. and money, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. I said, I was just like, wow, like you don't even care about me. You don't even care about our child. Mm -hmm. Like it, it was just very hurtful that to see that he really mm -hmm. just didn't care for me. And were you able to have the child? No, I lost the baby. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you. Mr. Brown, tell me what's going on. What happened? In general, I mean, she's a control freak. She's super possessive and clingy and just, you know, blows up my phone constantly and just don't give me no space whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's got to stop or I'm mm -hmm. out. Um, the thing with the child was, okay, she was lying from the get-go. She was telling me, Your Honor, that she was on birth control. So maybe like a couple months into us hanging out and stuff like that, she's talking about she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, you're pregnant. How'd you get pregnant? You're supposed to be taking birth control. She says, oh, well, I missed it mm. a, once or twice. And I'm like, nah, if you miss it once or twice, you don't get pregnant because it's a daily regimen. Mm -hmm. So how are you all of a sudden pregnant? So now I'm just figuring you wasn't never even on birth control because I never seen it anyways. Mm -hmm. So then, okay, fast forward to when she starts having complications. So you, you think she got pregnant on purpose? Yeah, I think she got pregnant mm -hmm. on purpose. She wanted to, to basically trap me, keep me around, or whatever. I don't know, maybe she wanted to take the kid and, and dip out somewhere. I don't know, but mm -hmm. whatever she did, I feel like she definitely did it on purpose. And so when she said that she called you from Vegas... Yeah. Is it, was your reaction indeed what she described in court today? No. When she was already having complications with the pregnancy, nobody told her go to no Vegas. So she decides, oh, I'm gonna just go ahead and go to Vegas while I'm having issues with the pregnancy. And then she's gonna call me one day and saying, well, I went into early labor. Not only did you go to Vegas on your own accord, but you want me to fly out there for what? 
Like, no, mm-hmm. I'm not. And, and I just, I was working and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I hadn't been working for a while mm-hmm. and just had secured good work for the next couple of days. Mm-hmm. And if I fly out, and try to fly back, somebody else is gonna get the job. So for one, I never told you to go to no Vegas. For two, it ain't nothing I can do. I'm not a doctor. What can I do coming out there? And it sounds like from the very beginning, you were obviously very upset about the fact that she was pregnant because you believed that she lied and said that she was on birth control. Did you lie about that? And- Right. No. Did you lie? I, I, in fact, have to take birth control because okay. I have a medical condition called okay. endometriosis. Yeah. So what well, happened? Because after this, this is obviously a big deal and, and traumatic yes. for you. Yeah. But the two of you decide to relocate to Vegas together. Am I right? Yes. What happened? I saved up $5,000 because, you know, obviously relocating is not cheap. So we ended up going, you know, spending some time to a casino. And he said, oh, let me go try a hand at the table. So that just started the gambling off right there. From that day, that's where all the gambling started from. And he just kept taking my money. What do you mean taking your money? Meaning, oh, pull it out, get it now. Calling me kind of all kind of names and harassing me and telling me, you need to get it now. And if I didn't get it and if I kept it, because that's my money, he'd be like, oh, why are you hiding it? It's your fault because we ain't coming up because you you ain't giving me the bread now. You got to give it to me now. When I say give it to me now, you got to give it to me now. So that's how you say you're out of $5,000 because he was demanding that you turn over money. Yes. What do you have to say, sir? Is that how you started the gambling? No, that's not even how the gambling started. The gambling started because of her. You know, one day she's like, oh, let's walk the strip. I don't want to go through the the casino because then I'm going to wind up getting sidetracked and gamble. So you're saying because she diverted the avenue that the two of you were walking that day, she is responsible for you now having a gambling problem. I never had a gambling problem. She knows that I like to gamble. And I told her that before we came to Vegas. Yeah, you did. So why did you... Go ahead, sir. So, you know, one day she's like, oh, let's walk the strip. I'm like, let's just go straight to the street because I don't want to go through the the casino because then I'm going to wind up getting sidetracked and gamble. Had you not been gambling prior to you moving to Vegas? No, I hadn't gambled in years. You know, it just didn't cross my mind. But you had a problem back then, several years ago, that you, you're you saying you, you addressed? It wasn't a problem. It was, it was a benefit. I used to win way more than, than I lose. Therefore, I was the victor, mm. you know? And I already knew if I went to table games out, out there in Vegas, I would have probably once again been the victor. But they got other little things in there that could have got me sidetracked, and I just wasn't trying to go down that Because you, you, you weren't trying to continue to be a victor at that point in your life. Yeah, I was like, I'll go so ahead and run it up on other d- avenues and stuff. I'm going to give them a break while I, you know, from getting all their money to... <laughs> okay, know. so during this break from you winning so much, right. you walk through the casino, right. and what I'm happened? resting up. So I'm walking through the casino. I see a table. They playing my game, Texas Hold'em, which to me looks like my first victim. So I go over there. I didn't realize that they didn't cut the cards. The cards came right out the machine. So... Uh, I guess I guess it wasn't really my victor that, victim that day, but I told her. I said I never wanted to even walk through the casino. I just wanted to go straight to the strip. That's all I wanted to do. So you're saying because she diverted the had, avenue that the two of you were walking that day, right. she is responsible for you now having a gambling problem? No, I'm not blaming. That's not the whole reason why. So I had, you start gambling that day, and what happens? You've been gambling every day since. Well, yeah, I switched casino. This is the thing, though. It wasn't a pattern of me losing. I lose that day. She's the reason I started gambling. But now when she... That don't got nothing to do with her money that she had posted had saved or nothing like that. That was my money that day. She ain't put down no money. But she's saying over the course of the last several months, you have demanded that she give you money. You've called her out, her, out of her name. You say she's the reason that you're being held back from winning again because she won't give you money. Have you been doing that? No. I, 
When, when I go to the casino... Cause have, you, have you gotten over $5,000 from her to gamble nah, with? she ain't giving me no $5,000. How much do you say she's giving you? She ain't giving me nothing. She gives the money to the casino. <laughs> I don't, I'm not the casino. She gives uh, the money to the casino. What do you mean by that? <laughs> she need to sue the casino. What do you mean by that? I'm not taking the money. The casino's taking the money. So you, you're using the money, but you're saying you're losing, so the casino is technically responsible? I'm not even using the money. I'm I don't just, understand that. I'm, I'm just a, a, a medium... I'm like a, 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 a co-signer of what happens with the money because she's gambling, too. She's at the casino with me. Every time? Every time. So because, she's gambling with you every time you go? Not yeah, because time. how is she going to give me money if, I'm, if she's not with So she is giving you money. I just asked yes. you this well, question. Not, I give, submitted give, my give, bank <laughs> statements to well, show... Well, sir, I know you want to focus on semantics, but we deal with the truth in divorce court, and I need you to be clear and truth. direct when I ask you the question. She's giving you money to gamble. This is not a crime. I'm not asking you to confess to a crime. It's a fact. And the fact is yes. No. So she, now you she have... wants me to, Your Honor. She so tells me we're moving to on now. at the table. We're moving on. We're still ending up at the casino. He'll be going to the bathroom for, like, over half an hour, and then he'll come out and go to the ATM and pull out money. I'm like, I know I don't have money. He doesn't have any money. And I find out that he's getting money from some other woman. If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free, 1-877-311-2222, or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. You say there's also an issue with other women. Yes. Tell me about that. This all in ties into the gambling. Mm -hmm. So he pretty much drives me out and we're still ending up at the casino when I know I don't have money, he doesn't have any money, so he'll be going to the bathroom for like over half an hour. I'm like, what is he doing in there? Because using the bathroom does not take you that long. And obviously he's in there talking to somebody or texting, and then he'll come out and go to the ATM and pull out money. I'm like, Where'd you get this money? Because I don't have any. I didn't give you... I know your mommy gonna give you any. And be like, oh, don't worry where I get the bread. I get the bread how I get it. That's just how I move. So I, I was like, I have to find out where he's getting this money because he ain't getting it from me. So I get into his cash app and I find out that he's talking and getting money from some other woman. He took over $4,000 from her. So How he do you took know that? five because on Cash App, if you click on the profile of that person, it'll show you how much money you sent to, you know, yourself. So you or have his. friends who give you four thousand dollars. One and I would like friends like mm, that too. I want that right? friend. <laughs> you have friends who just give you four thousand dollars? No, I mean that was for just one in, particular. For nothing friend. in That's return. Just, well, what, no. did, what did you say to so your my friend, was... ma'am? What did you say to your friend, in order for you to get four thousand dollars from her? I just said, look, you know, I just happened to be at the casino, and um, if you want to give me some bread, you know, we'll split it up, you know, whatever I'm. I don't know you any know, woman we'll that would do really? that. So <laughs> that's 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 what you said to her, and she said, sure, I will give you four thousand yeah. dollars. And did you return any of that bread to her? Uh, one time I did. Okay, because I thought you I thought you said <laughs> you were a victor. So one I was time, a victor. one time you returned Actually, some money I... to her. How how much was that one time? One time I gave her a band. I don't know what that is. That's a thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. But I was winning. I was sometimes I was coming home with seven seven thousand dollars. Well, that's what they count on in Vegas. They they count on you winning every once in a while, so you keep coming back. All of this money that you're spending gambling, now you have a problem, right? Because you're getting money from her. You're getting money from other women who you claim are friends. It's more than a friendship. I don't think it's a problem. So, oh, you don't think you have a problem? No. You're spending that much money She's gambling. She's the problem. How is she the problem? Because she, comes, she, she wants to gamble, but then she wants to make it an issue if I don't win. And then she wants to hover all over me and I stuff don't want like that. gamble? You know what I mean? I start getting allergic to clinginess, so I sneeze. Oh, bless you. I, stop blessing me. <laughs> bless the chips. Bless the cards. I need to run Mr. these Brown? chips up. Mr. Brown, let me ask you something, because I've, I've heard a lot about your relationship. It, it appears that you've had a number of issues from the very beginning because you believe that she lied to you, 
got pregnant on purpose. You were so upset about it, you didn't even want to go to Vegas when she called you and said that she was having an issue. You end up going to Vegas. You said it's her fault that you walked through the casino and that led to you getting a, a gambling issue, which you now claim you don't have. But in the end, even when you gamble, you say she's bad luck. So, sir, Everything why are you staying in a relationship with somebody who you believe brings you that much pain to your life? I don't know. It's just, like, kind of become routine. Like, really? we do a lot of stuff together. Yeah. I can think about 5,000 reasons why. She continues to give you money. If she... I, I, if I believe if Ms. Jones had cut you off at any point, this relationship would be cut off. No, nah, I make my own money. That's the thing. I so make why, more money so, than... So I ask you, why Why you say... Well, then if you make your own money, you don't need to have friends giving you $4,000. You don't need to have her giving you $5,000 if you don't need the money. She don't give... The only reason she kicks out money when I'm at the casino sir, is because she's Sir, my there. question is about the relationship. You said it's a routine? It's a habit? I, yeah, we just... Okay. We've been so trying just like to make gambling, it work. You're doing it because of routine and habit? No. Either he thinks you are the type of person who deceived him from day one, right? Didn't even come to Vegas yep. when you said you went through having a miscarriage with your child. Yes. That was a traumatic experience. Now you say he's calling your names, calling your out your name, give me the bread. You're the reason he said he's gambling again. According to you, he's getting money from other women. He's got your money. Mm -hmm. What is the reason for you staying in this relationship? I come from Hawaii, so, you know, we pretty much see local people, white people, Asian. And when you see this, to me, that's exotic. My physical attraction towards him is what pretty much holds me on. Really? So yes. that initial attraction, the, the first day you saw him, it's, it's been two years. Yes. So everything that's happened over the course of two years, that initial physical attraction is what's keeping you in the relationship? I mean, yeah, I guess so. Okay, Miss, Miss, Miss Jones, he doesn't owe you $5,000. You know why? He didn't force you to give him the money. He may have asked for it. He may have told you. He may have called you out of your name. But you're an adult. You're a grown woman. You know what you say if you don't want to do it? You say no. And you know what I you do when you say no and he calls you out your name? You cut your losses and you move on. But what you don't do is keep shelling out money and mm -hmm. then think you're going to come to court and sue him for it and get it back because you made a choice at that time. Now yeah, you regret your choice because the relationship isn't working out, but you don't have a legal basis to come in and say, he owed me this money. You didn't give it to him as a loan. Do I think he's a nice guy? Do I think he's a good guy? Do I think he called you those names? Yes, I do. Yeah. But that's not a legal basis. That's a reason for you to leave the relationship. That's not a basis for you to sue him for $5,000. My advice to the two of you is to cut your losses. You, you become codependent on each other's dysfunctionality in the relationship. And living in Vegas and being around all the gambling, continue to gamble every day, is the crux of your issues. So if you want to keep your money, Ms. Jones, stop giving it away to men in your life and look for a relationship where you can actually get something out of it that you're willing to give, which is love. Yes, that's true. That's my judgment. Good luck to both of you. Thank you, <clears throat> Well, according to Judge Fate, according to looking for love and somebody that cares about you, yeah, I totally agree. You know, that's pretty much what I deserve and what I should need. You know, I shouldn't be giving my money away to somebody that doesn't treat me right. It, you know, at the end. So, yeah, I agree. Uh, I thought Judge Faith had a really insightful verdict when she said, you know, I should end the relationship, but she also implemented the fact that where we live, it has a lot to do with the dynamics of the relationship. So I have to consider all that, and, you know, I respect that verdict. 